Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hello, VP fandom. It is lovely to hang out with you all today, especially because, as you can probably tell from the multiple times I've already posted it, I am sick. I thankfully, knock on wood, do not seem to have COVID. I've taken four COVID tests in the last couple of days, all negative. Um, my, I saw my doctor yesterday, said it's probably the flu, uh, which is what it feels like, or like a really te terrible double ear infection. Could also be that. Um, but anyway, I feel like crap. <laughs> uh i just got back on sunday from a festival i was teaching at um and luckily they had really really good covid <clears throat> covid protocols uh in the sense that they it was like fully vaccinated and boosted only and then at the check-in on the first day everyone had to take a covid test and then we all took covid tests again uh on saturday but anybody who felt even a little bit of symptoms anything uh yeah right to the game krellen um my energy did pretty low today <laughs> figured chill stream chill game time was good but anyway they had multiple tests anytime anyone felt even a little bit oof, they were like yeah come get tested so it was really good the whole event's run by a friend of mine who's a doctor I'm always nervous going to these events because I'm afraid of COVID. Um, but my friend who runs it is a doctor and her dad is like a epidemiologist and like doctor who specializes in lung problems. And like he's done a bunch of stuff for the Austrian government on COVID protocols or like events and stuff anyway. So I figure if I'm going to go to anything, that'd be the thing. So no COVID, but it seems like the flu came with somebody, uh, but also could be yeah, ear infection because we were out in the countryside, like an hour and a half away from Vienna, really beautiful area on the top of these like big rolling hills, incredibly lovely. Uh, it was this really like hippie retreat kind of space. And I'll tell you all about this event today because it was definitely a fun, hippie event, I have to tell you about what I got a room full of 60 naked people to do. Uh, it's not likely what you're imagining. It's likely a thousand percent better than whatever it is you're imagining. Anyway, that'll be for later. Uh, yes, I had to teach there, but the sort of balance for me is that it's work and this event because of the connections I make and the people who go to it that I can then impress, it gets Consent Academy a lot of the big gigs that we have for the rest of the year because of the connections I make there. Um, and it also gets a lot of people to sign up for our classes. So it's like, honestly, really important these last couple of years. It's really made a big difference. Um, but yeah, paying the price now. Oh, right. So Sunday, though, um, there's all these farms around the area. And Sunday, I started to have a little bit of a sore throat uh, Saturday. And I did a COVID test Saturday night. We all took one Saturday morning. I did one other one Saturday night. And I was like, oh, it's probably just allergies. Like, you know, like, um, what's the word? Ragweed. Like the first time I ever experienced was exposed to any ragweed. It like made my whole face swell up uh, when I was a teenager, but I almost never encounter it. So I don't really think about it. I take like, cetirizine, one pill every day. That's about it. It's pretty good. Um, I definitely am allergic to like dust and stuff, but there's not much you can do about that. Dust is everywhere. So anyway, yeah, I just take a pill. I'm actually gonna load the game. Uh, anyway, what am I trying to say? Uh, yes, I woke up Sunday morning and I thought I was dying, C totally sure I had COVID or something, um, because I was just so sick. But then it turns out literally that day, all the farms in the area were harvesting their rye. Um, 
so there was just a lot of grass pollen and other things in the air and it was like a really windy day and uh that's probably why i felt like shit but then i had a fever sunday night and yesterday seems to have gone down now so that's why i'm thinking it also could be a double ear infection it's like i get fluid retention in my ears steel axes ready yes uh because my body is temperamental um sometimes all right let's see very happy spirits today oh my goodness what do i got in my inventory my steel axe is ready very happy spirits i mean that's a day for the mines that's a day for the mines let me make sure my my animals are fed uh so yeah i feel pretty much like crap. I will be okay. Uh, it's just not a great feeling. I gotta milk my cows. Uh, <coughs> I will try to mute my microphone anytime before I start coughing a bunch because I know it's not the best thing uh, in the world. Thankfully, Charlie, also knock on wood, is not sick. Uh, but yeah, festival was great. I think it was really good that I went there. I taught only one class I had offered to teach two more, but didn't get a chance to. The two other, the class I did teach was called Consensual Seduction. And I love to teach that class because most people, when they hear the word consent and seduction, they think that that's an oxymoron. And they're like, what? How can you seduce someone consensually? Isn't seduction all about convincing someone to do something that they otherwise don't want to do and my thesis is that is not a very sex positive way to think about seduction um, but also it's a very common way to think about it and my whole point is that like you know if sex is bad to want uh, it's certainly bad to talk about more directly and it's also bad to actually sort of be honest about the things that we want and hello kitty hello my baby uh be honest about the things we don't want and then you know it makes setting boundaries in those spaces really difficult look at my sweet boy he's just being cute here he's just coming to see me yes uh it's always difficult to continue to game though when my cats will come and sit here because as you can see very effectively takes up the entire keyboard plots uh oh thank you for the rub it's not nearly dinner time so this is just nice my cat's just being nice you're such a sweetie okay i want to show you all his sweet face real quick and now i'm gonna put him down he likes to be picked up, but not all the time. Okay, kitty. Okay, kitty. <laughs> my, uh, my cats are so cute. Uh, all times are dinner time. Exactly. Hi, Crit Witch. I agree with you, Krellen. Um, so yeah, uh, my consensual seduction class at this event was really fun because yeah, it just kind of blows people's mind to hear consent and seduction in the same sentence. People tend to be like, I don't believe that's real. I think that that's <clears throat> against itself, um, bad, sad, some, some variation of the above are the common responses that I have encountered in terms of how people seem to feel about just the word seduction in general so i like to teach that class why did i put uh those things away let's see i'm gonna take some things with me because i'm gonna go to the mines <coughs> let's see what i want to take um i got some grapes i don't have a lot of good i don't have a lot of good food to take to the mines with me um Hmm, I need to do some cooking. There we go. This is a little bit better. Um, 
Let me see. Let me see. I don't need all this foraging plus stuff, so I don't really want to use any of that. My goodness. I like to keep the roasted hazelnuts. I can make an emergency. Let's see what else. Um, yeah, so I like to teach this class because I think it kind of makes people feel really excited for this idea of like, how can seduction be a consensual activity? And then also tends to be really intriguing for people because they tend to be like, this feels fake, tell me more. Oh, look, my other kitty. No, she's here. No, she's here. It's kitty. She doesn't like to be picked up as much. She's much more cuddly, except not, not to get picked up. Not a huge fan. I thought I had uh, more supplies somewhere for going to the mines, but maybe I just dreamed that. Um, okay, let's go. Let's Let's go to the mines. Let's see how we do. We made it to the bottom. I need more uh, copper ore. So let's head to the copper levels because I think that'll be a good idea. Get some copper going. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, in the consensual seduction class, it's like always a three-hour class at this event. So the first hour is just like consent basics that I like to teach. You know, what are the different elements of good consent practices, really valid consent. And then uh, the second hour, I teach people good communication skills and communication, like intimacy through just pure communicating. And then the last hour is this activity where people touch each other, but usually my activity is just like hands and forearms. Um, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Uh, it's like this these little game we play where it's like one person asks the other person to touch their arm as like specifically as possible. And then we usually see that like the thing you've asked the person to do doesn't always totally match the experience of how then it feels to be, you know, touch my arm like this. And then it feels a little different. So it's to really emphasize the idea about like, Consent includes some amount of the idea of discovery and not the whole perfect pre-planning or anything. Um, and then we also like to really sort of make it more intense slowly, though, of course, people are always welcome to just sit in the class. They don't have to participate if they don't feel comfortable. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but anyway, it's always funny because... You'll have some people who, like, really don't feel it, and they just want to sit there and listen. But then you also always have at least a handful of people in that class who get so into it that they're naked. <laughs> or they're, like, half undressed with each other, and they're just rubbing all over each other. Like, it's, my class is not meant to be a sexual space, so I tell them to keep it. PG-13, uh, but it's very funny because there's always people who are, like, so into it, and it's surprising. It's never who you think it's going to be, and, like, suddenly. Anyway, it's a fun class to teach, and I got a lot of compliments. A lot of people came and told me that it made their experience at the festival better, that they had a lot of, like, fun, magical experiences because of what I taught them, and it made their uh, intimacy with other people and stuff nicer. Which is really nice um, to do. Or other people said that it made them really interested in the idea of consent. That they hadn't really, oh my goodness, thought about it that much before. Or like, they knew it was important, but they had a really simplistic view of it. Or something along those lines. Uh, pretty common statements that I get from people. Um, which is always really nice when people are, feel that you've helped them. And they choose to tell you. <coughs> so, festival was super fun. Really glad I taught at it. Um, Charlie came with me, uh, which was also really nice. And we had a cat sitter. And then my kitties uh, were a little freaked out when we got home. That was the longest we'd ever left them alone. 
uh, I mean like with the cat sitter. The cat sitter wasn't here the whole time because my cats, one, don't need that much attention, but two, uh, the cat sitter had to work and stuff during the day, obviously. And then, oh my goodness, I'm very sick today. <laughs> but this is still really nice and calming. Um, yeah, the my kitties like having a cat sit around, I'm sure, except they're terrified of strangers. Um, and But we need someone to come and clean the litter every day and feed them, <laughs> right? Even though we have these, like, timed open things, I wouldn't want to fill it with just um, dry food for the whole time. That's not really good for cats to have that much dry food. <coughs> so, so, anyway. Uh, yes, the festival is very fun. Ooh, this guy. This is a little enemy dude. This is a little crabby. Crabby crab. Oh my gosh, I one-shotted him. His new blade is powerful. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, I got... I, see, these little white guys, I hate them. Because if you don't get them fast enough, they turn into these guys. And then they're really annoying. They always get me. Always get me. So yeah, how was everyone else's week, weekend? Anyone else do anything nice? Have a good time. I need more copper. I need to, I need to strike it rich in copper veins. Let's see. We gotta find a level that's just got lots of copper in it. All right. Your week sucked. Oh, I'm so sorry, Carolyn. My friend died on Wednesday. I'm so sorry to hear that. really rough. I'm sorry, Crowley. Um, well, do you get to take any time off of work to, for like bereavement time or anything, Crowley? shot at that slime. Oh, I love these little dudes. Yes, I got you. Well, I don't know if you get any bereavement time or anything, Krellen, uh, <coughs> from work. Um, your job is to feed your cats and keep the house clean. No time off ever. <coughs> yeah, you're right, uh, Orchrist. It's it is a very common game. <coughs> It's nice. I normally <coughs> do a lot more like educational content for the first hour of my stream every week, but 
then build into what we do in the stream, but I'm too sick today. Um, well, uh, I hope your cats are keeping in good company, Colin. Let's see. Ugh. <clears throat> so, I have to tell you all about the funny thing that happened. So, I attended some other people's workshops, right? Because, oh no, this guy just attacked me. Let me eat blackberry. I'm almost out of energy. So I took other people's workshops, right? Because I taught one. Um, one of the other educators didn't come because they got sick. So I offered to teach two more workshops. The two other ones I was like, I can teach right away. Um, where I could teach a workshop on like this very intimate form of meditation that you can do with another person. Or I also, that's like really grounds you in the body and like connects you with other people and it's very fun and then I have another workshop called fall in love with a stranger that I can do it's also about commit consent and communication skills and all that good stuff all that fun nerdy stuff that I like um, but I didn't teach those other ones because there were a few other people who had uh, extra workshops that they could offer which was really good it's nice that one of the teachers who was going to come and teach like five workshops um, got sick and then a lot of other people tried to pitch in which is good but I took other since I only had one workshop I was teaching plus I gave a a talk at the symposium that's at the beginning and the talk was on like power consent and cultural appropriation um, which was fun people also said that I made an idea they never really thought about before like really simple and easy to understand and seem not intimidating <clears throat> that was really nice but so I took other people's workshops and one of the ones I took was called coming home to the body and it was a workshop where I knew we were all gonna get naked and I always think it's good for everyone's mental health to get naked in front of other people in a non-sexual sort of context um, because I think that we can tend to have really distorted views about what we look like and what other people look like because a lot of the time we only really see ourselves naked, maybe uh, a sexual partner, um, people in pornography, people on Instagram, that kind of thing. Oh, 40 messages? What? Okay, no. Uh, my chat thing was saying that I had missed four messages, but I didn't think so. Um, so anyway, I think that it's really healthy for people to get consensually sort of naked and with each other in non-sexual ways so that we can have, I don't know, less body shame and body anxiety and then also be like more aware that there's a lot of diversity in what bodies look like and I should get out of the minds and there's no wrong way for a body to look, etc. So I'm always down for that kind of Thing. Also, like, nude bathing and sauna and stuff like that. I <coughs> like all of that stuff, um, which is nice. It fits, fits pretty well living in Europe um, and Japan. Um, both have a lot of that culture. Anyway, the event was really fun um, because, yeah, we all got naked, and it was definitely about, like, trying to reduce body shame and uh, that kind of stuff, and so it was great um and it started with us all writing down on a piece of paper something that we hate about our bodies um something we wish was really different or that we don't like and that's always a sad but useful exercise um and then we put them all in, we didn't put our names on it or anything and then we put them all into this little bag and then the other thing we had to do was um uh, sort of decide how comfortable we felt with what level of nudity we wanted to have in the group. Um, and then we, you know, did some exercises and then the 
teacher put on this song where we like to get undressed slowly up until our comfort level. Um, and we had a couple of other things that we had to do. Um, but there was this one section where we were <coughs> all naked and we were all supposed to dance. Uh, and the point was to look as unattractive as possible, like to not try to look good while dancing, just to move and like celebrate and experiment with all the different like silly and strange ways when it is 1.30, so I should probably stop doing these tasks and get into my bed. Um, and, uh, you know, just kind of have this experience and we're just to like really jiggle our bodies and everything. And it was very, very fun. But then uh, after that, we all got back into the circle and the teacher asked if anyone had any really like good ways that they enjoyed moving while naked uh, to the song and no one was saying anything. So me being me, I raised my hand and I said, yeah, I had one. So the teacher had me come into the middle of the room and display it and it was dancing like a chicken because I was like, this is the least attractive thing I could do while naked. Like, kind of squatting down, like bobbing my head, flapping around. And then suddenly the entire room erupted into everyone dancing like a chicken for like a minute. So I got a whole room full of like 60 naked people to all dance like chickens. And that was the crowning achievement. It wasn't all the people who said I changed their lives. <laughs> it was ever getting a room full of 60 naked people to dance like chickens. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. Also, during my class, people laughed at my jokes, which made me really happy. Um, I have always wanted to be a comedian of some form, class clown, or whatever. And, uh, yeah, it's really nice when people laugh at your jokes. Um, and so, yeah, it was pretty fun. Uh, it was also great because, like, I don't know, I can have a lot of, like, body shame, like most people. And I can often think that, like... Uh, Amethyst to Emily. Okay, I can do that. Um, and you know, I'm the kind of person who can be like, yeah, everybody should feel good in their bodies except for me because <laughs> I'm so bad or whatever, right? Um, I think that's uh, also not that uncommon of a sort of way to feel about oneself. Um, and uh, yeah. So it was pretty good. And then after the whole class was over, we all sat back down and we took out somebody else's card out of the thing. Remember, these were all anonymous. And then we were supposed to read it out loud. And But we were supposed to say, instead of like, I hate this thing about myself, I love my whatever. And it was really interesting, but also in retrospect, not surprising that like 80% of people wrote that they hated their bellies, which is what I wrote. I said, yeah. I don't like that my stomach's not flat. It makes me sad. And uh, I've had like a lot of exes really be on my case about it. And I've had a lot of, I don't know, just feeling that I needed to hide it and all of those kinds of sad but very common feelings. So it was really kind of interesting to be in a room full of people who, as far as I could tell, seemed to feel pretty similar about their own bodies. Oh, so I'm trying to put things into chests that are full. It's not working. I uh, feel pretty similarly about their own bodies. And I mean, everyone looked good. Nobody, I didn't look at anybody and think, oh, this person looks like shit or anything. And it wasn't just um, a festival full of 20 something thin people. It was, let's say, more than half 20-something thin people, but it wasn't only people in their 20s who were thin. Um, anyway, uh, afterwards, though, I had this little, like, seed of doubt creep back in because I had a couple of friends that were also in the class with me, which is also kind of nice. Um, and uh, I was saying to one of them at lunch, like, oh, you know, it was interesting that everybody wrote that they didn't like their bellies, but, like, and that made me feel good, but also, like, I looked around the room, and everybody's belly is, like, so much better than mine. <laughs> and my friend was just like, I don't think you have an accurate perception of yourself. <laughs> and that was also good for me to hear. Because, um, yeah, you know. And then it was really funny, because on 
Saturday evening, which was the last evening, we did this uh, event that my friend does, who's not the organizer, but is like a assistant. Um, she does these events in Vienna called Parallel Universe. They are basically sex parties, but like raves and fun times and other stuff. Oh, I got gold star milk. Would you look at that? Gold star milk. Um, they're just fun, playful parties. You get kind of dressed up wild and they're all these like events and everything, but we were doing this, uh, per this, uh, meeting of everybody going over everything. And then we did a, uh, jiggle party flash mob. So everybody who was in the class, the music started again, which was one of the Vivaldi songs. And we all got undressed. And then for all the people who weren't in the class, which was like 150 people. So 60 people, not all, of, not everybody got back up to perform either, but we all got naked again. And then just for like four minutes jiggled in front of a bunch of other people, which was also really fun. Cause then it's like, oh yeah. Okay. So like, I feel ashamed of my body in some way, but whatever, everyone here now knows what I look like naked. So, you know, what are you going to do? Um, which is actually surprisingly refreshing. Do I? I don't need to water these, do I? I don't think you need to water winter seeds. Let me look that up. I might have maybe messed this up, but I kind of feel like, I don't think you need to water winter seeds. <coughs> All right, let me look this up. Stardew Valley water winter seeds. Oh my goodness. Yep, they require watering even on snowy days. What have I been doing? Being silly, that's what. Does still require watering even on. Oh my goodness. Well, there we go. Uh, I do have some sprinklers, I think, that I can put out. Yeah, but it was a fun event. I'm glad I did that. Uh, I highly recommend that kind of thing to people. It's good for your mental health, I think. Uh, not necessarily everybody's, you know, everybody's different, but yeah, good times. Good times. Still going to require watering, so upgrading my watering can is going to be a little tricky. But maybe instead of upgrading my watering can more... I should focus on the whole, uh, making, being able to make sprinklers. And I should calculate out for this patch, how many regs, regular sprinklers do I need? Iridium sprinklers will be nice at some point, but I can't get iridium yet, so it's not like it really matters. Oh my goodness, that would have been perfect. And I made that mistake. It's fine. It's fine. I gotta water them. That's the whole point was not watering. Okay, I'm gonna go also upgrade my pickaxe if I have enough iron. Um because it would be good. Um do you have enough iron? Okay, sweet. Put that in there. I will break a couple of geodes. Let's do some frozen geodes. Um, why not? Let's do this spicy berry jelly. Um, I need to bring all of those eggs to our dear friend. I don't know. How how many I need. No, not that. Oh, but I can sell that. Yes, let's do that. Okay, be organized, I guess. Try. Try to be organized. Um, okay, what was the other thing I needed to do? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Amethyst. Do I have an amethyst? I should. Maybe I don't. 
Maybe I don't have any of this. Wild. I could have sworn I would. Well, guess not. Um. Alright, let's just go. Let's go. It's Blacksmith Clint's. So yeah, festival was really good. Good times. Uh, there was also a performance from some like professional contemporary um, dancers, like sort of dance theater kind of dancers. Um, like if you were gonna go see like modern ballet or like artsy contemporary dance or something like that. And it was really great because they were dancing to Chris Isaac's song about not wanting to fall in love. And they like ripped all of each other's clothes off. And then there was one scene where one of them screamed into the other one's ass that they don't want to fall in love. Um, and that was also a pretty good moment. Uh, just saying, pretty funny. Uh, very memorable <laughs> and uh it was an interesting festival i told my parents about it i was telling my dad and i told him about like getting everyone naked dancing like chickens and stuff and he's, he's very gracious about the whole thing it's definitely outside of his like comfort zone which is fair but he was also very much like uh you will never have a boring life uh and that's Interesting. All right, let's do. Let's get a steel pickaxe, huh? It'll be useful. All right, and I've got a steel axe. So can I get to the secret woods yet? I feel like I need gold for that. We'll see. We'll see. Do I have enough? I need twenty-four eggs. Four, seven. Nine, eleven, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Oh my goodness! I used too many of my eggs. How's that even possible? How many days do I have left? Two days. Okay. Well, I'll have to put. I don't know if I picked up my eggs today. Actually, probably I didn't. Maybe I don't remember. All right. Get a lot of gold star eggs for me, Mr. Gus. Better be happy. It's not evening. It's 2 p.m. It's not evening. What are you talking about, dude? All right, let me see. I might have two more eggs. Take some stuff to Gunther. It's great. Great. Kettlestick, yeah. I understand that. Feeling like you have a boring life, but you're almost never bored. I mean, it might sound a bit facetious, me saying I feel like I understand that when I'm just talking about a festival that I went to. It's so funny, though, because I think everybody's, like, reference points ends up being so different. Because to me, I, like, tell people about this festival, and people are like, whoa, that's so hardcore. And I'm always just like, I don't know, man, this seems pretty normal to me. But I think for a lot of people, sex and sexuality and anything even slightly reminiscent of it is like hardcore. It kind of freaks people out. Um, but to me, it's just kind of like, I don't know, life? I mean, it's not my thing, but it's not like bad. I don't know if that makes sense. Like. I'm not particularly, like, say, attracted to a lot of the activities at these kinds of festivals, but I'm not, like, freaked out by them, but it's kind of like a been there, done that kind of thing, where it's like, yeah, I've checked this kind of thing out, and eh. You're right, Krellen, puritanical culture. Okay, so probably I can get to the secret woods. I don't have more eggs for Gus today. I'll have to do it tomorrow. Um... But look at this, I can chop up all this wood and clean up my, my life. 
Ugh. Oh yeah, worms. Worms. But yeah. It's a good time. The festival was nice. It's nice. Um, you know, having not done pretty much anything even remotely social over the last few years except for going to the same festival last year. Um it's pretty good. <laughs> Got the flu, not exactly exciting. Slash could be just an ear infection, which is also not exciting. But, um, it is all quite interesting. There's a bunny, a winter bunny, cute. All right, steel, look at that. I'm going to the secret woods. Oh yeah. Lines. Have a good day, Orcrist. Oh my gosh, these slimes are fancy. Ugh. Kettlestick, you say, I wouldn't do something like a festival. I'm all about sex positive and openness in a theoretical sense, but when it comes to actually dancing naked like a chicken, 100% would not do that. Yeah, I mean, to be sure, not every class at the festival was like that. Um, and it was definitely a class aimed at like overcoming hatred of our bodies and such. But there were lots of classes that were like, I don't know, just like sensual touch or like, um, yeah, what else? What else was there? Uh, classes on drag classes on uh, polyamory and like, you know, how to do polyamory, how to deal with jealousy, how to deal with or what's compersion. If you don't know what compersion is, it's when <coughs> your partner has a good experience with someone else that they're seeing in some kind of way. Like they go on a date and it's really good because you're in a polyamorous relationship. And then you feel a little sort of vicarious sense of joy or um, pleasure at it. Like you feel good for them, but it also gives you sort of like romantic feelings. Old master cannoli, still searching for the sweetest taste. Anyway, uh, and there were lots of classes that were very like sort of discussion and lecture style where you didn't have to do anything particularly challenging. And I like, one of the things that I like about how the festival organizers sort of arrange everything is you have the things that are really just like not too outside of anybody's comfort zone. Uh, and those are the things that are like in the main spaces that people interact in, they're really public. And then as things get more intense, once you get into like bondage or anything like that those go and they're in this other part of the building or the festival space that is not like you have to intentionally go there you wouldn't just wander into it um and it's kind of helps create this sort of gradient of intensity of interactions that you can have in the space um and so if you're not feeling ready for some of the more intense stuff you don't have to engage with any of it um, and I think that that's really good and it makes it a much more accessible event as well because people who, you know, aren't really wanting to get naked with a bunch of strangers or plenty of people go there like me and Charlie, you know, or monogamous, we didn't go do a bunch of sexual things. Um, sometimes we meet people at those festivals who are like, how does that work? If you're like not here to sleep with a bunch of strangers and they're just kind of like eh, you just don't we're just not into that um uh anyway it's uh yeah it's nice it's fun to be at those places get a little out of your comfort zone gunther gunther got all this gunther stuff that's kind of exciting um okay what am I, do I have any food in here? No, I have nothing in there so far. What's the weather gonna be tomorrow?
clear and sunny. Not sure why I checked. It doesn't actually matter right now. Okay, I got all that stuff to bring to Gunther. It's kind of exciting. Oh man, it's always intense how fast copper is finished in this game. Like, put it in and then it's like, I'm gonna say it's immediately done and it's not quite as fast as quartz as far as I can tell. Still quite fast. Oh, I didn't want to open the map, but it is so cute to look at. This is cute. I didn't, I've never looked at the map in this particular farm style. So we've got my little bit of land, and this is where my greenhouse is, I think. And then all this lake. Wild. Wild. All right, I was gonna look at some crafting stuff. Because I want to make some more of these. Iron, wood, oak, copper. Okay, let's make a couple of those. This is how we're going to get more money. Okay. Well, I only can make three right now. And that's depending on how much of this stuff I have. I have four. Okay. 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 Well. Anything else I can craft particularly good? Oh yeah, I should make at least one of these. Cheese press. Hold on one second. I need to cough. I need to mute myself. That's really funny, Kettlestick. I hope you're not sick, too. Uh, but it's funny that you would, your brain would sort of go, kind of go, oh, am I sick, too? What was I going to make? Um, cheese press. I need hardwood, stone, and wood. Hardwood, stone, and wood. Okay. Do I have enough wood? Oh, okay, I should. Um, okay. Let's try this. Let's make... A cheese press. But I can make more than one. Hmm. So I get two milks a day, so let's make two, because that makes sense. I'm currently getting two milks a day. I need to make some more iron. Okay, let's put some kegs somewhere. Let's figure out where it makes sense to put the kegs. And here and here. Okay, and let's get some more cranberries going. Look at this gold star mayonnaise. Gold star mayonnaise. Can't really taste anything very well right now because I'm sick. But like a sandwich, it's like a little bit toasted. Of like egg and mayo or something on it. I don't know, just mayo in general sounds pretty good right now. Um, okay. Two cheese presses. Let's get this. Let's get two milks going. Two milks going. Yes. Okay. Look at that. Alrighty. 
So yeah, the whole idea of my workshop at the event was consensual seduction, which is the idea that you can seduce someone consensually, um, and that seduction is not about convincing someone to do something with you. It's about showing people what you have to offer and inviting them to come and join you. And you always want to ask yourself, are you trying to get someone to say yes? Or are you looking for an honest answer? Uh, that's a good question to ask yourself in life in general. Um, and uh, also not always an easy one for us to answer. Queen of sauce, plum pudding. That's exciting. Alrighty. Well. Oh, Pierre. Hello there, Ariel. So, your first year in Stardew Valley is almost over, huh? If you keep buying seeds from Lily, you'll be used twice as productive next year. And I have some exciting news. I'll be sending new seed varieties in my shop next year. I should have one new seed variety per season. Well, that's what I wanted to have. Cool. You know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitor seeds. Pure seeds are the highest quality seeds you'll find anywhere. That's a promise. Hey, Aradin. Thanks for wishing I feel better. Um, ice festival. I'm excited. Tomorrow is the ice festival. I need to buy like 50 refrigerators too. Uh, ugh. Y'all, I am tired. It's nice to hang out because, like, it's not like sitting here not playing this game makes me less tired. Yeah, Pierre is kind of pushy, for sure. Um, like, I'm still super tired when I'm just sitting here doing nothing. Um, I was, like, watching Netflix and answering emails earlier, and I was tired about doing that, too. Um, so, you know, just tired, as a, you one expects when you're sick. Um, but also, uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice to hang out with all of you while sick. Definitely keeps me nicely distracted from feeling miserable. All right, anything else I want to make? I feel like I need more tappers because I need more of this oak resin. Uh, what do I need to make? Yeah, iridium, that's not happening for a while. I want to get a couple of these. Gold bar and refined quartz. Okay, let's see. I only have one iron bar right now, though. Boo. Yeah, that's all I can make. Bummer. Alright, well, next time I go to the mines, I will get more iron. That'll be my goal. More iron. Yeah, being I totally agree with you, Rodden. Being sick is super draining. It's not very fun. Um, it's okay, though. I mean, what else? Just life. Uh, we all get sick sometimes. It's a pain in the butt. I... I'm thankful it does not seem to be COVID. Because <laughs> that would be a bigger pain in the butt. I gotta water those plants. My goodness, I cannot forget. Oh man, I gotta say hi to my cows. I got some cheese. Yes. I got a large milk. I do need that for the community center. Okay. So. I'm going to just do be very careful. Very careful. Gettlestick, you said, I didn't mind being sick as a kid so much because you get to stay at home from school, but as an adult, you still have to do everything. It just sucks more. 100%. Yeah, it's rough. Wait, my cows had food, right? No, goodness, I almost forgot to feed my animals. That would be bad. 
Alrighty. I think I need this hay too. Do I need hay? I'll find out when I feed feed the chickens. Gotta go feed my chickens. Good morning, chickens. Good morning. No, no! I didn't mean to eat the large egg. What is that? Waste. No, I guess I don't need any more hay for the community center. But, but, what else? Okay. Water these plants. Silly have to water plants in winter but whatever uh, got the winter seeds so you know it's important I got my steel axe it's pretty nice would be so great too. I mean like this farm is kind of weird right because this is you can grow crops outside of this little square but like kind of why would you you'd have to water them all the time but we're gonna do so many animals animal I'm so excited Tomorrow, though, Marnie's not going to be open. I want to get another animal, though. Let's let's go. Let's see. Let's see if I can get another Sunday. I don't know if she'll be open, but worth worth investigating. Oh yeah, man! Did I miss final day? Oh no! I ate one of the eggs. Did I mess that up so bad? Because I ate one of the eggs, am I going to just lose that quest? Oh man, if that's the case, I have to restart the day. For sure. Okay, let me see if I can buy a cow. And then... Purchase animals. Alright, who wants to be a cow? Or anybody have a name for a cow they want? Anyone? Any names? Yeah, Krellen, you can't be a cow, you are a chicken. Yeah, we got two chickens already taken, two cows. All right, can I can I just do this as random? Marzipan. I like that kettle stick. Let's do that. Marzipan. Supper. I oh, that's so sad. I don't want to call my cow supper. Okay. But if I didn't really screw this up, I'm going to have to come back. Because I still have to put... Oh, crap. Accidentally eating that egg. That is rough. That is rough. Oh yeah, it is ironic. She can't eat them. Yeah. This game is slightly lacto ovo vegetarian slash pescatarian. Okay. Let's see. Did I put any eggs any other place for safekeeping? Um because oh my goodness, if I accidentally ate one of those eggs. I don't feel so silly.
Oh no. I think I made. Yeah, it does feel bad. Okay. Looks like I have to restart the day. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I agree with you, Krellen. It's bad. User interface design. 100% is bad. What are you doing when you're doing that? What what was your message? Well, obviously you can't just repost it, but I feel like the mod auto mod is a little bit too um, high on its power sometimes. Yeah, I didn't see anything either. Um, let's see. Okay. Try this again. My goodness. Yes. Okay. We're going to skip this because Pierre, you're ridiculous. I got two cheese. So I still got the large milk, which is super important. Um, it makes me very proud. Proud to be a cow owner. <laughs> oh, it doesn't like you saying beta. That's a little silly. I think I understand why. But that's so silly. Yeah, I feel like it's not blocked. Okay, whew. All right. Beta. Weird. Yeah, like I said, it might be high on its power. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have this big orchard. This is going to be a cool farm. But it's really uh, up and running because we're going to have tons of animals and we're going to have this big orchard and it's going to be great. The orchard is not going to be organized in any even slightly sort of logical fashion, I'm sure. It's just going to be a big old mess. But that's fun, right? Okay, come on. Oh no. No, why? Wrong direction. Yeah, I think I know why, because it's like you can call someone a beta, but like, I don't think I put that into the moderation stuff, so I don't quite get it. All right, let's go buy marzipan. <laughs> I need to keep a little sticky note like to the side of my screen that helps me keep track of um, the names of the animals and who named them so that everybody who watches this channel, hi, Jakey. Purchase animals. Cow. Here. Buffy, that's pretty cute, but it's gonna be Mars Pan. Mars it Pan. Is that how you spell it? Let me look. How did you spell it earlier? No, I put an extra I in. There we go.
I am incapable of spelling very well. Oh, you just joined a Star Trek role play in Second Life. That sounds fun. Oh, wait, can I buy more chickens? I would get more chickens. Purchase animals. Chicken. Yeah. Brown chicken. Woohoo. All right. Who wants to be my brown chicken? We've got Krellin, Silly Millie, Rodin, Torador, and Marzipan. So who has not gotten to name an animal and would like to? Let's see. <laughs> Can't I see if I spell it wrong, it would be even better. Maybe this chicken should be Grand Nagus. <laughs> Can I do that? Yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> you inspired me, Jakey. It's, it's Grand Nagus now. <laughs> the Grand Nagus is a woman. What? The Ferengi won't have it. <laughs> Shane, I'm sorry, I don't be your friend. Homestar the Chicken. Colonel Sanders, that's even better. Oh man, you guys have got me some really good inspirational names. But Grand Nagus, that's, I don't know. Deep Space Nine, I love it. Love the reference. That feels good. Feels good. I'll have busier days, you know, a lot more uh, things to sort of harvest every day. I don't think I have enough. Sure. Sure. No, I'm going to save all that. What? Yeah, a female? <laughs> oh, man. Good days. Deep Space Nine is a good show. If you've not watched Deep Space Nine, so I just want to recommend it. It's very good. All right. I'm not going to sell my large milk. I'm going to get my frozen geodes. Um, I'm going to take a frozen tear with me so I can start to flirt with my future husband. Uh, got some regular geodes and some omni geodes. It all sounds good. Okay. Going into town. Yeah. And wear clothes. Too bad you can't put little outfits on your chickens and stuff. Then I could really mess with the Ferengi. Dr. Crusher was supposed to be bisexual. I think I knew that because I feel like it's kind of in the plot. But maybe that's just me projecting. Because she's attractive. <laughs> what? Not open yet. Dig through your trash. I haven't even come into work yet, and I'm already going to give you stuff. Yay! Okay, I did it. Woohoo! Okay. I don't have a time limit on that. The skull key. Discover the purpose of the skull key. Find the shadowy figure in the mare shorts. Hey, Gus. It's not evening, it's noon. What are you 
talking about, dude? Every time. I want to do these quests, but, hmm. All right, got to donate to the museum. Let's do it. New reward. New reward. Got two new rewards. That's amazing. Collect rewards. What are they? Oh, a rare crow. Oh yeah, a little skeleton dude. That's exciting. That's exciting. Oh, you're not? Okay, that's fine. I can't process my geodes. Trash. Why would I take trash out of the trash can, though? That's the one thing I don't just understand about this, is like... Yeah, I get to the trash from the trash can, but why would I take it with me? Well, my steel pickaxe should be ready tomorrow, which is very exciting. Let's see. Does my milk go here? Rabbit's foot. Purple mushroom. Red cabbage. No. Okay. Oh, I need pigs. I need fried eggs. Animal bundle. Yes. Okay. I'm getting closer. Getting closer. So I just need. Okay. But if I build the bigger barn, that's the easiest thing because then I can get a goat. Get goat milk and wool. Yeah. Skeleton's gonna go there for now. I don't I think I can put the trash technically into the um to sell bin, but I don't think you get money for it. And I wouldn't want to do that to, I think it's Mary Lewis who comes, technically. Just come and, like, have to pull some gross trash out of there. I don't know. It feels rude. All right, Sebastian. Where are you at? Hi. Shop. Wizard couch. That's kind of cool. Workbench. <laughs> Mini fridge, calendar. Ooh, I want all of them. I don't really have the money for it right now. Save my money. I gotta save it. Construct farm buildings. What do I need for the big barn? Let's look. I'm definitely gonna get the new game. Yes. I'm very excited. Big coop. Okay. 450 wood. That's a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold. 450. <coughs> Excuse me. I can do it. I can do it. My love. Sebastian, I really love this. How did you know? Yeah, because I am excited. Yeah, you don't like your stepdad. That's fine. That's fine. You don't have to like your stepdad. You can put the trash in the recycling machine. Absolutely. Oh, but look at these wormies. Yes! Wormies. Yes! Wormies. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I just want to be able to upgrade everything. All right. All right. I'm going to chop some trees down because I need a lot of wood for a lot of projects. What? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I should make a little fence, I think, around my uh, orchard trees so that I don't ever accidentally chop them down. <laughs> that would suck. Um, and I need a lot more oak. Oak. Yeah, it's tough, Jakey. I think so much media is so toxic in so many ways. And, uh, it's really tough when there's something we like that we also know is not great. <coughs> Ugh. Being sick is such a bummer. But hanging out with y'all is helping me feel better. For sure. Feel more awake. It's also probably because I'm drinking a lot of liquids. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's very good. I'm drinking made this big pot about halfway through it. It's turmeric tea and it's good for your immune system. It's not like magic. Uh, I know a lot of people in the world want to be like, yeah, these natural remedies are magical. But I, I mean, I'm not into homeopathy. Uh, and I don't really want to talk about homeopathy. And I feel like it's very unfortunate that homeopathy can get really lumped in with naturopathy. Because naturopathy, I think, is, you know... A nice companion to traditional medicine. Um, there are lots of things that are really great natural cures that we don't necessarily have good synthetic uh, fancy medications for managing certain illnesses yet. Um, like I don't know if any of you watch the TV show Alone. I really like it, even though it basically genuinely is the Hunger Games, except you're not trying to uh, kill people. Um, but I really like survivalism stuff. I'm definitely, I don't know, man. There are lots of ways in which, like, if you actually look at my personality really closely, I'm just pretty stereotypical dude. <laughs> uh, my partner jokes about it a lot. <coughs> um... Yeah, and a lot of other people have pointed this out in the course of my life, that I'm, in many ways, definitely just a stereotypical dude. But I digress. Um, uh, what, were we, what were we saying? What were we saying a minute ago before I got distracted by thinking about dude stuff? Um, I made a joke at the festival that I was at because we had to do our own COVID tests. Um, I did watch Battle Royale. It's very good. Um, I like the book a lot. It's definitely a book that got my adrenaline going really hard. Um, like, kind of surprisingly intensely adrenaline rush show. Um, but anyway, at the, uh, at the event, we had to do our own COVID tests. And it was like, you have to put the little swab in your throat, and then also in each nostril. And it was really funny because I was joking around about how, like, I want to show how tough I am and that I can just, like, stick the thing in my throat and not gag at all. And then, like, it was pretty funny. Um, because people were just like, yeah, sucking dicks, basically. Um, sounded pretty sexual. Uh, but, you know, all good fun. Uh, let me make some more copper before bed. 
four copper bars. Ooh, can I make, do I, first of all, do I need snow yams? No, let's see. Can I make snow yam wine? Probably not worth very much. And I, I can't make it. No, I do not want to eat the snow yam. Um, let's see. Let's see. I need 12,000 gold for this bigger barn. I want the bigger barn even more now. Which is silly. But, like, it being that much more expensive suddenly makes me really want it. Um. Uh. Yes, I am very dude-like. I can be such a bro. That's actually the real thing, is I can be, like, very much a bro sometimes. Um, just my personality. What can I do? Uh, it also makes things sometimes slightly harder with doctors because because of my, like, bro tendencies... I have, also have a tendency to kind of, like, minimize things, especially in the moment. Like, people will be like, oh, well, like, you don't seem that affected by these heart problems, blah, blah, blah. And it's always, like, a yes and no kind of thing where it's like, yeah, on some levels I'm not that affected, but on other levels you have to understand my personality is such that even if I am being terribly affected, I'm probably not going to, like do much about it. Uh, and this is not me saying like, haha, isn't this great? Look at this terrible habit I have. No, this is me full well knowing that I shouldn't do this to myself. Uh, but I'm kind of a dude and like tough, the tough it out. Um, anyway, I'm not trying to, like, promote toxic masculinity or anything. It's just I can't help myself. I'm a bit of a bro is what I'm trying to say. Did I water these plants today? Yes. Okay. Why? Why are you so... Okay. Um, oh, yeah. I have to get a new doctor. I went to see my doctor yesterday to find out it was completely wasted time meeting with my doctor i'm pretty annoyed about the whole thing because every time i go to see this doctor if i my appointments at say noon i won't get home until 6 p.m because of how long i have to wait and at first i was told that that's like kind of normal in austria um especially if you're seeing a public doctor because they just have to see so many people in order to make money but then i think that this is actually not that normal um or this is kind of extreme because anyway I saw him yesterday to kind of get a checkup especially since I'm so sick um and a couple other things I have going on but anyway he just was like oh yeah I'm not going to prescribe you your ADHD meds or your antidepressants anymore because you don't actually need them and I was like uh no. So anyway, I gotta find myself new primary care. Hold on a second. I definitely need to blow my nose. What I'm back. I got this really great giant pack of tissues next to my desk, and it's really helping. And uh, I'm pretty happy about that. And yeah, you're right, Aradin. Uh, my doctor, the the minimizing female pain while also being kind of like a dude about things, it's tough. I had a doctor once where I was like talking to them about all the heart surgeries I've had and other surgeries and like health problems I have more broadly. Um, and very happy spirits. Nice weather report. It's a few inches of snow tomorrow. Um, oh, right. Today's the festival. Oh, yes. A mini fridge. Okay. This is great because I can actually start to like <laughs> cook now. Necessary for cooking. 
So yeah, that's definitely the fact that there's a festival today is why my um no my pickaxe wasn't ready. Um what in the world? What are you doing over there, kitten? What are you doing over there, kitten? Hold on one second. I need to check on my cat in a second. All right. Second, I stood up, stopped what he was doing, but I was worried that he was going to be caught in something. But no, he's he's just being mischievous. Anyway, <laughs> I think he's angry because I have the shades down. Uh, yeah. And he doesn't always like that because he wants to be able to see out the window. And I think he was pulling on the string because my cats are actually surprisingly smart. They figured out how to open doors, which is difficult. And I think they've actually started to figure out how to pull shades up. Um, so anyway, magic smart cats. All right. I like that the trees just kind of are self-replicating. But sometimes I want to have a little bit of control over how much self-replicating they do. Because it's a little bit much sometimes. Like, you can't even walk through. Also, it's going to be 100 degrees Fahrenheit next week. That is rough. Um, and I'm sorry, Jakey, that your insurance isn't going to cover your Vivace anymore because of the formula. It's really annoying when, like, you're taking a medicine and it's just, just like, good at suiting your needs. And then your insurance is like, whatever. And it's like, okay. Um, the ice festival near Marnie's Ranch has begun. I think I need to bring my fishing pole to this. I don't remember if you have to bring your fishing pole. But there's definitely a fishing event that's pretty fun. So let me put some things away. And then I'm going to get my fishing pole and I'm going to go fishing. And then we go fishing. What? I got cranberries wine ready? Blueberry. I'm so excited I got that mini fridge from Gus. It's amazing. Oh wait, I haven't done anything with my animals. Just completely forgot. Oh whoa, I did not see that around and they're gonna have a new Oh, that's so cool. All right. Hey. It's going to be a bit tougher because I'm going to have to basically come back every day. Um, let's so feed them all because now that I've got three, I can't just leave it. I can't just leave it. But that's going to be cool. A, a spider first person. Look at the baby chicken. Oh my god, I forgot how cute they are. Oh my god. Oh, well, I can't even deal. That's too cute. No, I don't want to eat the egg. I want to make... I want to make mayonnaise with the egg. But anyway. Very exciting. Very exciting. Gonna sell my cheese. Trying to make money. I want to get up to that 12,000. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot my fishing rod. Where did I even put it? Here, fiberglass rod. Yep, sweet. Let's take it. Go into the event. Hopefully it's not too late to get in. Don't want to miss it. Don't want to miss it. Yeah. Star Trek Adventure Group. That sounds nice. Yeah, I want to play Star Trek 
role playing game with Cheryl. That sounds really good. One of the things I got hired for, because like I was saying at the, uh, I don't actually have to pause it. Um, going to this festival where I taught is really important because it tends to get us a lot of other work. Uh, one of the other people who want to hire me are people who do Dungeons and Dragons stuff, or not. They just do role playing and like LARPing, not just D and D in Vienna, but they've had like problems in the community and they want my help and to teach about consent. I'm super excited because I love to talk about role playing games and consent. All right, time to say hello to people. Elliot, I'm entering the ice fishing competition today. Why not? It's rare that Willie ever loses, though. Oh, ice, a beautiful material to sculpt in, but so impermanent. But I guess that might make the art even better. I'm sorry, but carving ice parapets requires my undivided attention. I really like this pe this pair. Uh, the forest looks beautiful in winter, doesn't it? Yes. How's winter coming along for you, Ariel? Future husband. Cold? Nah, I never get cold. Yeah, nice. Me neither. Hey, Ariel, are you going to enter the ice fishing competition? Oh, wait, you got something else to say. Oh, not me. I don't know how to fish. All right. I want to buy the rare crow, but I'm not going to buy it because i got to save my money. i got to save my money. It's rough. It's rough. I don't want to save my money. I want to buy things. But we need the big barn. Yeah, they should have butter sculpting. Hi, Linus. Igloo buildings and art I picked up from the tundra dwellers who lived beyond the frozen sea. That was many years ago. An igloo makes a nice home, but it's easier to just stay in my tent year round. <laughs> All right. Where are you at, wizard? You're up there, inaccessible. Why? Why won't you come talk to us? I want to say hello to the wizard. Oh, being sick so rough. So rough. Okay. Marnie, I feel bad for all the poor cold animals out there. Don't feel too bad. Most of them acclimatize. Extreme temperatures can put your body under a lot of stress, so make sure to bundle up. Oh, and enjoy the festival. Sorry, there's no food. Just wait until the Feast of the Winter Star. You'll be stuffed for days. Oh, yeah, that's an exciting event in the game. Hey, Ariel, ready for some ice fishing? Um, yes, I'll do my best. Best the spirit. You know what? I probably should have worn a jacket. Eh, jackets are overrated. I guess winter isn't all bad. Paying the snow can be fun. <laughs> Snowmen are okay, I guess, but mostly I'm looking forward to the spring. The snow is so cold I can't feel my fingers anymore. What do you think of my snow goon? It's pretty great, I think. I'm not very creative when it comes to snowmen. I want to give him a carrot nose. Hmm, what kind of snowman should we make? Classic one with carrot nose and scarf? No. Um... Something funky. Ice school antennas, big cone eyes. I like it. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Emily. Wow, this snowman needs a makeover. Who made this? That's judgmental. Emily started helping me without any provocation. Does that mean something? Gulp? No, it means she's judging you. I plan on winning the ice fishing competition. Yeah, you go, Pam. Well, he's going to be pretty hard to beat, though. He does this thing. He does this kind of stuff day and night. Why are you so agitated, kitty? I don't know if you can all hear it, but one of my cats is just, just agitated. All right, George. Hmm, wife dragged me out in the cold for this. Yep. Emily is the worst, yeah. Did I ever tell you how George and I first met? He actually pelted me with a snowball. It's winter festival. He was a gentleman back then and came over to see if I was okay. Shane, you're out in flip-flops. If I was up, if it was up to me, I'd probably have a pizza festival at the saloon instead. I mean, that sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. 
I saw a big fish down there. Nice. All right, I think talk to everybody. So let's let's just do some ice fishing. I'm ready. Yep. I mean, I'm not great. <laughs> we'll see. Doubt. I'm gonna win. Why does everyone else get to start standing next to their hole and I have to run? Hit, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh. No. Ugh, oh, so difficult. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I don't know. Yeah, I agree, Crit Rich. That's a lot of ice fishing fans. seem like the wizard is a fan though oh no I only got five Ugh. probably lost well that's not a fish gag the smell where's the shack and beer I totally agree Jakey now for the winner of this year's ice fishing competition Willie. What? I can't believe I won. I think they gave it to me. Now let's release these poor fish. All right. Yeah, I think they gave it to me for free because there's no way Willie didn't get more than five fish. Can't believe it won. Time to head home. Yeah, I also can't believe I won because I know I didn't. I know I didn't. There's no way. All right, fiberglass rod hats. Okay. Wait. Uh. I'm so tired, y'all. So tired. I'm going to put these. Well, I need two more. Fishing is hard in this game. I don't know if you can hear my kitty screaming. He's, he's screaming over there. Doing big screams. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, okay, I want to upgrade something else. Um, it's kind of difficult. I got my steel axe. Pickaxe. Um, I don't have enough to upgrade my watering can right now. 
but my hoe, I could. Let's do that. Get everything, hopefully. They're cozying up to the rich landowner. You're actually right, Aradin. Let's get everything I own to at least steal. That's a good idea. Hopefully, hopefully I can get my watering can because I'll harvest those winter doobly dupes that I've planted, and then I'll upgrade everything else, or then I'll upgrade the watering can at least once. Oh, you're wondering if that was your cat, Saradin. Steel pickaxe is ready. Alright, I'm gonna tend to my animals. Animals! They're so cute. What? Yes. Oh, I want to see my baby chicken again. Yes. Make some more mayonnaise. Super exciting. <coughs> Pet my dog. Yeah. At some point, once I get enough of these kegs, I'll have to stop always just putting things in at this, whenever they pop up. Yeah, ramen does sound good right now. Uh, and doing it when it makes sense, when they're all ready at the same time. Ugh. All right, let's make some blueberry jam. At least I've got a good number of fancy artesian goods to sell. Oh, there's more trash. Yeah, a lot of issues, you're right, or a lot of issues due to consent coming up in LARPs, and from what I understand, there's also been, like, racism issues and, like, other related intersecting problems, and, you know, consent is not a perfect lens to explore things of racism, but it's often, I think, a good start for a lot of people who are not used to thinking about these things in general. And just thinking about like other people's autonomy and power and how many choices do they actually have and like how many no's are people allowed to give and have those no's be respected and like that's kind of what part of my whole spiel on power and consent is about in general and like who do you make space for and how like why do you make space for some people and not others and if you're not sort of consciously thinking about who you're making space for. You're only going to be making space for the people with the most power to begin with and how all of these things sort of intersect. And like, I do want to stress that consent is not the best lens to think about um, things like racism, but it is a lens that can help people start to kind of process <coughs> what might be happening. Steel pickaxe, woohoo! Uh, process geodes. Let's do this first. Don't have a lot of room. I already got these all before, so I can sell them. Hmm. 
place. Gunther, Gunther, but these ones, yeah, okay. And then these regs geodes. Gunther will know more about that. All right, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's often money, you're right, dictates who you make space for. Yeah, and this is one of those other problems that we talk a lot about in things like our consent and leadership series, which is like, if you've got somebody who is like major financial backer of a community or a scene or whatever, a subculture, and you need to hold them accountable for something, that can become incredibly difficult just because of the fact that, like, they have so much power over people. Um, because you can just then not really be able to set a boundary with them because, <coughs> or a group of people. Um, anyway, I'm tired. Uh, upgrade tools. Let's see here. I want copper hoe. This is tough. I want to. I, I need to upgrade things during winter when it's easier to upgrade stuff. And also, I need to save money so I can get the big barn. Competing interests. It's funny though because it's only really an issue, right? Whoa! I have a ton of things I can donate today. What do you know? Oh, you can remove things around too. That's nice. So later I could reorganize things to be a little bit more thematic. Collect rewards. Obsidian base. I don't need that right now. I don't need that right now. Okay. I still have my fishing rod. No, I put that away. I do have a pickaxe. Pretty fancy one. Pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. What seeds do you sell in winter again? Yeah, that's about it. But you do sell all of these <coughs> trees. Will the upgraded tools make it easier to make money in the later seasons? I would say indirectly, yes. Jody says, do you get tired of people asking you about your farm all the time? Probably. I think I would. Um, yeah, so it's not so much that upgraded tools help you make more money, but they help you do a lot of things faster and use less energy to do them. So then they, indirectly, they do help you make more money. Because if I'm in the mines and I have to chop like 30 times to break something versus three times to break something. And yeah, it's not quite that extreme of a difference, but it really adds up pretty quickly. Uh, let's plant some acorns. Mm -hmm. I can sell that as well. Uh, I got some ore, which is really nice. I know it makes the, like, sad sound when you get the ore, but sometimes I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> got more ore. I really needed that. Let's plant some acorns. This is going to be a lot of, a lot of things. I don't really need all of this stuff. I mostly just, I need more of this pine tar, it's not pine tar, oak resin. Ugh. Okay. It's always hard to remember which trees are which, but I think these are oaks. Also, I think that this is good enough to break this up now. Yes! 
Yes. And yeah, I would say that upgrading the watering can is one of those things where it's like you definitely should do it once, maybe twice, because then, you know, oh, I just planted that. What am I doing? Uh, once you can get sprinklers, it's not necessary to have it upgraded. So it can really be a waste of money. Um, oh yeah, a D and D improv group. That sounds fun. I imagine Cheryl has done almost that exact thing. All right, let's make some tappers. What do I need for those again? What do I need for those? I need wood and copper. Okay. Okay, wood and copper. I have a lot of wood. Oh yeah, I want to make at least one more barrel too. For cake, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, I'll make one cake, and I'll make one tapper. Oh, I can make like two tappers. Nice, nice. I can make some tappers. Oh, I don't remember which one is which in winter. Let me look that up real quick. Let me look up which one is which in winter. Stardew Valley trees in winter. Just want to see which tree is which. Um, okay, yeah, the oak is the thicker one and the maple is the skinny one. Okay, that's what I thought, but I wanted to be sure. So these, because more oak resin would be nice. Because then I can make more barrels or kegs and then I can make more wine and then I can make more money so that I can buy more animals and that'll be very exciting. Very exciting indeed. Let's do some blueberry wine. Let's do it. All right, can we make more? We do have one more egg so we can make more eggy smash, right? That's what it's called. It's not mayonnaise, it's eggies. Uh, you can be a triple in Star Wars Adventure. That's amazing. Hey, kitten. What if you didn't? You didn't have to put your butt right in my face. My kitty's being super sweet. It's not quite dinner time yet, but it's almost exact. We usually feed them like right at six and it's seven minutes to six, so. I definitely know what time it is. Okay. Gotta put the trash in here. Getting three coal for one trash is actually pretty sweet. So I do think in the future I will try to save the coal because that's, yeah, like I said, pretty sweet. All right, what else? Yeah, I would agree with you, Krellen. I'm not sure if they're sentient either. Where is my fishing rod? Oops. Can I possibly have done with it? Here it is. And this is actually bait. All right. No, I don't want that. I don't need to be a treasure hunter right now. You can attack the Klingons. Face the wrong direction. Ugh. Wow. Ooh, 
I got a sea cucumber. Oh, a fish all the way up there. I got iron ore from some trash. That's a first. I got a purple star sea cucumber. Nice. Do these things need to be rebaited? Probably. I probably should make some more bait, generally speaking, because I got all these crab pots. Crab pots are kind of the worst, but oh well. Yes. Oh yeah, the Barbie movie. I'm kind of excited about that. It's I don't know. I'm excited to see what they're even going to do with it, right? Like, I can't really imagine what the movie's going to be about. Um, but I've seen some of the, 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 like, promo images, and it seems interesting. Oh, three different Barbies and three different Kens. What? I mean, it makes sense. You can have like Malibu Barbie and you can have Beach Barbie and. Barbies with different jobs and ball gown Barbie and stuff. Yeah, I think that kind of makes sense. That was the worst cast. Oh, herring. Herring. Not my favorite fish. Like, ear and ken. What is ear and ken? Oh, you know someone who actually voiced Barbie? Wow, Rodden. Uh, different in ethnicities of Barbies and Kens, yeah. <laughs> it also makes sense. Alright, what are my skills? No, wrong. Farming, I'm almost level 10. Nice. Fishing is my next highest. Nice. Combat is my lowest, but it's pretty much almost my lowest. Um, mining is still pretty low. Bummer. Forester. Foraging. I could do more foraging overall. That would be nice, but... So much fishing. What can I say? So much fishing. Well then. Oh no, oh no, this is, no, I was not going to happen. That was too difficult. It was just, immediately. How are you even supposed to catch that? Magic, that's how. Cockle. Yay. I need to blow my nose again in a second. Just a second. After this next fish, I'll pause and blow my nose. What a tease. No, I'm going to lose it. I was trying to get the treasure. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna pause one second. I'm gonna mute one second.
Thank you, Aradin, for reminding me that I was still muted. All I had said was thank you all for waiting while I blew my nose. Oh my goodness. Whew. That was risky. Oh no, no! Oh. What? 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 Ugh. No, what am I doing? Let's get some more fish. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, little fishy. Oh my gosh. No. I think if I get another... Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, did anybody here get to check out the last Sunday stream? I'm sorry, Ash didn't remember how to change the cat stream category, but she talked with her partner, Morgan, who does do stunts and intimacy coordination in movies and television. Um, so if you haven't seen it, I recommend checking it out. Yeah, I think on the times when if a holiday falls on a Sunday, we should just not have a stream because I think that it's, uh, I don't, oh, look at this. Chicken statue and a lost book. Wow, what a lucky treasure chest. What? Yeah, I don't think people, I don't want to make people feel like they have to choose between like celebrating a holiday with their family and watching our stream. So on the flip side, maybe people who aren't celebrating the holiday with their family would appreciate the distraction. I have to think about that. Oh my goodness, this fish. Temperamental. No, 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 don't bounce. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was going to say earlier. Um, yeah, good point, Duradin. I think people would like having something to do. <coughs> um, if I get a fishing rod that can do bait and a lure or something, I gotta get the one that makes so it doesn't bounce off the edges as much because that's often something that really does. Oh, that's a great idea, Jakey. Do a poll a week before or something. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Good idea. Perfect. Didn't even have to do anything. Whew. Yeah, also, the fact that on Sunday we overlap with Cheryl, difficult. Difficult, difficult. It's getting late. Pumped me. Uh, how much inventory space do I have? Not much. Yeah. Yeah, when I I'm, picked the time for the Sunday stream, I didn't actually even realize that Cheryl streamed at the same time. Um, back then. Uh, so, my bad for sure. Alright, do I got anything else here? No. Alright. 
All right, let's sell this chicken statue. All righty, sleep for the night. Let me see real quick. Oh yeah, look at that, level eight fishing. I can make a worm bin. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, it's always really nice. <clears throat> Um, yes. <laughs> All right. One or two more days for sure. Um, we'll see. Keeping my energy up hard. Sometimes I feel myself fade a little bit for a minute. And I just need more liquids. Gotta finish this whole pot of tea. It's only a couple more cups, so should be pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Fortune teller. Somewhat annoyed in the weather reports. A few inches of snow tomorrow. Oh yeah, look at that. Got more resin. Importance. Oh hey puppy. Hey puppy. Can I put water in your bowl in winter? Can I wonder if it freezes though. All right, animals, you ready for this? Oh man, I'm not sure if my little farmer dude should be pulling so hard that you make that teeth gritting face because like, I feel like you're pulling on the cow's little udder so hard. Cows aren't gonna be that happy about it. I could be wrong, but having milked cows before, I feel like you don't need to pull that hard on it. Like, it's not no work and you do get Pretty built up arms. Oh, you're not a baby chicken anymore. You've already laid an egg. Wow. The chickens mature so much faster. No. I do not want to eat the egg. I want to say hello to my little chicken. Ooh. Yeah, don't chafe the cow. Exactly, Jakey. We don't want to hurt the cow. The cow's giving us delicious things. Oh, yeah, look at that more oak resin. Aha! Yes, don't just walk into the trees, though. I don't really think I know what these winter seeds are. Alrighty. Yeah, man, I want the bigger barn. <laughs> I want the bigger barn, but I also want to upgrade my tools because it makes everything so much easier. Yeah, utter cream, bag balm, and stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. Alrighty, I got two. Many little acorns sitting around. Gotta clean them up. Yeah, man. I really would love to get the bigger barn. Almost there. It's like twelve or thirteen thousand. Sell another round of wine, and I'll probably get there. Some cheeses, some jams. But look how much I'm able to clean up my farm now. Couldn't do that beforehand. It's only because I've upgraded everything. Yes. The only thing that really, I think really directly helps you make more money is upgrading your trash can. Because then when you throw things away, you get some percentage of money back. Um, and that's pretty important. All right, let's go make some mayonnaise. 
Gotta love it. So now that I'm getting three eggs a day, I should probably have two mayonnaise machines. Um, oh, I need an earth crystal for that. Right. I don't know if I have any. I don't know if I have any earth crystals. Not currently. A random thing to need a specialty item for. Okay. I don't need a train. What am I doing? Hard to make it there on time. Well, a lot of time you get there and it's not very good. Yeah. Actually, let's let's take some of that stone. Plan a little bit. But I'm gonna do one little micro bit of planning. Let's make some cobblestone pathway. I'll do 15 for now because I want to plan out how many sprinklers I need with my <coughs> best sprinklers I can currently make. I won't be able to do it perfectly here because of those seeds that I planted. But let's let's give it a right because they can go like this right because they'll do right let me double check these guys eight adjacent water tiles yeah three four five six seven right exactly exactly so i can plan this nope not that one mistake mistake so then I can calculate how many of them I need to make, but then it can also help me plan pretty nicely how many seeds I should buy. Um, and also, um, okay, right where the scarecrow is. Um, Think about a bunch of other stuff. That's all I'm trying to say. Now help me think about some other things. Ooh, this isn't going to be a good way. It's not even. Rough. It's not even. That's fine. That's fine. Um, make a couple more. And let's see. I wish I could get you wormies. I don't have my thing. Um, and then, yeah, again, not even. But that's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Not totally even. All right, let's make one more. Okay, so that's a lot of sprinklers, but good start, good start. What do I need for these sprinklers again? Gold, iron, refined quartz. Okay, one of each. Let me actually count. How many sprinklers am I wanting to make? Um, oh my goodness, it is seven per row and four rows is 21. So we need 21 of each thing. So 21 quartz, 21 gold, 21 uh, <coughs> iron. How much do I have? So far I have 19 there. No, or five refined quartz, but I can make enough I can also probably make enough for the gold. So it's really the iron that is currently 
the limiting factor. Not bad though, not bad. So if I get enough to make 21 iron bars, I'll be pretty golden. Um, oh, but I can make one more keg right now, so might as well. Oh, I need wood. Need my wood. Let's make this. Let's make this little keg because that's our money machine. It's very important. Very important. So I actually only need twenty because I already have one. Um, doodle bop one sprinkler. So I don't need another one at the moment. Uh, so I only need 20. That should be good. Should be good. Should be pretty easy to achieve before spring. As long as I start going to the mines semi-frequently and really get a lot of iron. Which also should be not that hard. Actually, let's let's do a little bit of prep as well. Um, just down here in general, I like to put out a couple of a uh, couple of nice, couple of nice things like this. Probably gonna move some of them because scarecrows. I'm gonna end up putting scarecrows around at some point, um, and I want them pretty properly distributed um, and along the edges is nice 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 okay good 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 let's just put one right behind the owl statue the owls are meh meh uh, let's see okay we got some fruitsies in here Apple, do I need any? Uh, no, nothing for the community center. It's kind of rough to be at this position with the relation to the community center because it's just so like you have to wait. <laughs> and I don't want to wait. I want to unlock the community center now. I want to get it done. I want to be, yeah, I'm just too excited. Iron ore. Nice. Um, but yeah, in the reports wise, I should be able to get <coughs> <coughs> plenty of reports pretty quickly. No, 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 wrong thing. Okay. Okay. Money wise, things are going okay. I'm going to chop down some trees, I think. Do a little bit of a little bit of cleanup of all of this. Clean up in between. All righty. Let's see, let's see. All right, just, just doing a little bit of tidying on the farm before bed. And then hopefully I will go to the mines tomorrow and get a lot of iron so that I can start to make those sprinklers. And then hopefully I will also get a bunch of wine so that I can start to make more money in the game. That would be really nice. That would be really nice to get a bunch of money in the game. Yes, a bunch of money in the game would be really nice. How you doing, puppy? Uh, 
Oh, yeah, look at this big rock I can finally clean up, too. Oh, I put all that bait in there, and what did I get? Driftwood. Driftwood. Bummer. But I can clear these stumps, which is nice. Oh, my goodness. If I can actually hit them. All right, let's see if my recycling machine can be reloaded with trash. Give me something fancy. Candy. All right, nice. All right, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Reverend Mort. Yeah, it's not quite the tail end. I'll probably chill out for another day or two in the game. Uh, so yeah, I guess it's kind of the tail end. Um, but yeah, I'm sick. Somebody have caught the flu or maybe an ear infection. Yeah, and I hope you're doing well. What? Oh, I just sold mahogany seeds. Why? Why? That's not useful. That's not useful at all. Alrighty. Let's chop down some more stumps. Clean some more things. Yes. Woohoo! It's nice to get all the hardwood. Hard though um, to get all of the little things like this cleaned up because more always comes around. It's always kind of funny when you wake up at the beginning of a new season and you're like, oh no, my farm just somehow got filled with boulders over the course of the night. How did that happen? But it's nice to do the tidying. Nice indeed. Yes. I don't know what's happened. I feel like I've just kind of, in the last, I don't know, 20 minutes or so went and like got so much more tired. But it's still nice to chill out with everybody. So nice to just be here, play a little game, have a little chat, be chill. Alrighty, let's go to sleep in the game. Sleep for the night. Um, all right, let's keep going. I got this. I gotta finish this whole pot of tea, and then I've got two jars of cold brew tea I made earlier today that's like summery tea. Fortune teller, what's going on today, Fortune? Good humor. Nice. Alrighty. Let's go check out my animals. See how they're doing. I'm excited. Milking my cows. I'm going to say hello. Too young to produce milk. Yeah, that's fine. Large milk. Wow. Gold star large milk. What am I doing? Just jerk it off. <laughs> Looked really silly. Looked really silly. 
All right, let's put out some more food from my babies. Let's put out more food from my babies. Uh, oh, you didn't get to sleep until around 4 a.m., Aradin. I hope you're okay. You're expecting fatigue to hit you later? Yeah, I, I expect it to hit you later, too. I expect to hit you now. How are you not? Oh, my gosh. How did I pick up the hay and then put it all right back right away? Silly. Silly, silly. Chickens. Yeah, Reverend Morton, it is when you're meant to go to bed. <coughs> okay. Let's go. Can I make egg wine? That would be fun. Make eggnog. Nope. No, I don't want to eat the egg either. Let's make some more blueberry wine. Blueberry wine. Um. All right, I think I've got about one more day in me and then I'll need to stop because I feel myself getting pretty tired, um, unfortunately. Very unfortunately, because I want to hang out more with all of y'all. I got a no nope, wrong thing there. Don't need this. I gotta go water my crops, huh? It's hard to keep track of everything you gotta do in a day on a farm. So much work to be done. So little time to do it all. But I would like to go to the mines today. I know that my hoe is ready, but I think mines makes more sense. Ugh, I missed. <coughs> yeah, so I'll water my crops and then head over to the mines, and then I'll be good, and then I'll try to get good deal of iron. I always forget where exactly iron starts um, in the mines. Oh goodness, some, some jams are ready. Like I said, too many things to do in a day. game it keeps you busy all right oh I can't do that with snow yam why not why not okay well fine mm. take these things to the mines with me um. All right, one more spicy berry jelly. Then I'm gonna sell the jam. And then... I can eat the snow yam though, yeah. Yeah. All right, off to the mines I go. <coughs> Thank you. 70 to 79, okay. Alrighty. Um, let's go 65. I'm not getting such a late start that I feel like I have the strength for it. Um, oh, maybe that was a silly choice. Copper ore, random bit of copper ore. 
Interesting, interesting. Alrighty. Thank you again, Krillin, for looking that up. Um, I would have gone to like 50. I guess you would find it, but. Yeah. Ooh, this is nice. Not exactly what I meant to do, but that's fine. Oh, ghost. Is there no iron ore? Oh, there's one up there. Oh, there's another one down there. But there's two slimes. dust sprites. There's, there's mining for me. Oh no, this area is infested with monsters. Whatever shall I do? Ha ha ha. Time to smash them. If they don't smash me first though. <laughs> there's a lot at once. Come on. Don't just face the wrong direction and swing. What are you doing? <laughs> Makes messages for sure. Another bat's coming for me. Why are you so slow? Get over here. You want to fight me or not? Huh? How are you doing, bat? All right. I hate this game. You're always just facing the wrong direction when fighting. Somehow, it's just like a constant theme of I'm not supposed to be facing that direction. I mean, <clears throat> it's a little bit uh, silly, though, overall, just the fact that this game even has combat. Not every game needs to have combat. Uh, the fact that so many video games <coughs> have combat as kind of a default is a bit of a bummer a lot of the time. And, like, the combat in this game is fine. But it's not like I, I don't really feel like it adds very much to my experience of the game. Um, there's already so much that it has that it doesn't make. If you're going to add it to the game, I feel like the user interface for it should be a little bit better. Because otherwise combat that's poorly done is just really frustrating. And I say that as somebody who really likes the uh, Bloodborne and Dark Souls games. Yeah, it does add a way for you to not have any farming in your farming game. It's true. You could just play this game only with no farming. You'd not complete a ton of quests and stuff, but yeah, you could definitely just do it. No farming, only combat and mining and chopping down trees. Uh, I have not played Torment Tides of Numeria. I feel like I have that game though. 
Oh, look at all that. Look at all that iron over there. Yes. A lot of combat between me and the iron, but. Yeah, look at all this iron. It's exciting. Yes. Whoa, that's a bunch of frozen tears. 40 is not enough <laughs> for all the stuff I need to do in this game. I need a lot of copper. I mean, a lot of iron. Ooh, a skeleton to fight, though. That's kind of fun. Well, it almost killed me, but that's fine. I don't need this sap at all. I get so much sap from all the trees. Skeletons. Oh, yeah, way down. All right, so there is more iron here, so that's nice. Um... Kind of getting my butt kicked by these skeletons, though. All right, let's eat some things. We'll clear up a wee bit of inventory and also um, restore a little bit of energy and a little bit of health. That sounds good. Uh, okay, horror game. You just go home and leave the creepy stuff alone. That's interesting. That's very clever and cute. Scooby-Doo in the sh shaggy without the rest of the game. Very interesting. Maybe I would play that game. Sounds kind of fun. All right, Skeletor, let's go. That why you gotta come get involved. I didn't invite you to the party. All right, all right. Let's go down. I'm gonna get some more iron before the end of the day. Maybe my combat will level up at all this work. Get some more stone, that's always nice. Ten whole stone from that. Interesting. This game sounds very interesting. I feel like I should check it out. Copper, what are you doing here? Nope, nope, not what I meant to do. Ugh. Get wrecked. Don't look like there's much iron. Alright, let's go down. Goodness gracious, I wish that my body would not be sick. Yeah. I feel like you have to kill like a thousand slimes in this game for the, the guilds, the adventurers guild. It's a lot. A rhythm game for a hot dog eating competition. Uh, I hope that game exists. That sounds fun. Well, these are a lot of Skeletors. Okay. Good thing I have some food with me. Let's eat this fish. Let's eat some of these seaweeds. Cave carrot. I like clearing up the inventory. Uh, 
All right. Oh man, I gotta leave. <laughs> leave mine. It's almost 1 a.m. Bus stop. Thankfully, because of having the bus stop, it's really easy to just, or the, uh, the mine carts, it's really easy to get back. Yeah, that does sound cool. And then having actual recipes you could try, sounds pretty fun. Okay. Inventory full. Hmm. I'm not careful. I'm going to pass it on the farm. But I want to make as much money as I can as soon as possible. So getting these guys to be going. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want to eat the blackberry. Okay. Okay. Just getting in my house. Going to bed. Will I make it? Yes. All right. So I think, um, yes, I have a meeting in 20 minutes and I think I want to stop here for today so I can have a little break before my meeting. Maybe eat something because it's almost seven and I don't want to eat dinner super late. But, uh, yeah, I also love a rod and that you hold things above your head while you sleep. My money situation is getting better. I'm getting real close. I'll get the big barn. It's very exciting. So many animals. How much money are we going to have? Nice. And if I had sold the jams, we'd be even closer. Uh, so it's tempting as it is to do one more day because it's, this has been great while oh, I'm sick <coughs> to keep me distracted. I think I should stop here. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, if you have been enjoying the stream and you're not already following us, please consider giving us a follow. We're trying to slowly increase the number of followers we have. This weekend, I will be doing uh, an interview on Sunday with... Um, uh, Jessica Price. Um, I also just realized that my mom arrives on Sunday, so I have to double check the timing of that um, <laughs> because I need to go to the airport to pick my mom up. Gotta double check the timing. I think she comes in at six and the stream's at seven, so might be a little bit, I don't know, the Japanese word for it's giddy giddy. I don't remember how to say that in English. Uh, cutting it a little close. We will see. I will see what what makes sense. Anyway, it was lovely to hang out with all of you today. It really helped take my mind off of being sick. Thank you for being such lovely friends and community members. And I'll catch you all later. Bye.